Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. This is a leech, and this is the human embryo about 23 days. I think you have to agree that the similarity between these uh, structures is amazing. The key word in both is Al-Ghaida. At this stage, it is known to no one except Allah. The rapid growth and dramatic changes which occur after the bones have been clothed by muscles have been mentioned in the Holy Quran 1400 years ago. Ayah 79, I mean, Surah 79, Ayah 32 states, also in the context of creation, and the mountains hath he firmly fixed. Similar mention of mountains is found in several other surahs. It is permissible to interpret this to imply that mountains are rooted and that modern, ge and modern geophysics has established deep crustal roots for the axial parts of mountain systems at converging plate boundaries. We need research into the history of early Middle Eastern oral traditions to know whether, in fact, such historical events have been reported. If there is no such record, it strengthens the belief that God transmitted through Muhammad bits of his knowledge that we have only discovered for ourselves in recent times. 1,400 years ago, when the world was immersed in darkness, the Quran was revealed, which brought light to a beleaguered world. And whereas the earlier books came with many scientific mistakes due to the hand of man having delved into them, the Quran had none of these contradictions. The world thought there could be no reconciliation between religion and science. But the Quran mentioned many scientific facts in great detail, like how a human being developed in the mother's womb, and described other scientific facts which amaze the world's renowned scientists and scientific community. Such was the impact of these revelations that the first Islamic medical conference was held at the Arab League building, Cairo, Egypt, on the 26th of September, 1985.